Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite and Samsung Galaxy Tab A7. In this video, I am going to do a comparison between these two tablets. So I divide it in two parts. In the first part, I will discuss about the unique features of Tab A7 Lite that Tab A7 don't have. And in the second part, I will do the opposite. The first main difference is the software version. So Tab a7 Lite has the one UI 5 Android 13 software version but on the other side Tab A7 has the older One UI 4.1 Android 12 software version. So that is the main difference. The next thing that I want to mention is for example you open any app in uh, this tablet in Tab A7 Lite at the bottom you see there is a taskbar option available so this will helpful in open any other app in the split screen mode like that okay so you can open one more app in the pop-up view as well so you can also switch between different apps easily okay so for example i want to open this app okay i can switch here then i can open my files folder okay so you can easily switch between different apps you can also make your favorite app combination as well so for example i open this app here like that so if i want to make a favorite app combination i just select the star option i put in the taskbar so it will add it into the taskbar as well so now for example i open other app I just select this uh, favorite app combination and it will open directly but these options are not available in tab a7 so for example i open any app you see there is no taskbar option available the next feature is about multitasking so for example i open uh, one app in the tab a7 light i can easily use my two fingers to swipe it up okay and this will open in the split screen and then at the bottom i can open any other app okay like that but in tab a7 uh, we don't have this option so for example if i open any app and then if if I try to open any other app if I swipe it like that it will not allow me to open in the split screen view the next thing uh, in the tab a7 light is for example I open uh, this calculator app what I can do I can just swipe it from the corner and I can open it in a pop-up view like that okay so you can see and then I can easily move it okay but here in tab a7 we don't have this option so you can see if I try to take it out from the corner it will not allow me to take it in from the corner to open in a pop-up view the next feature is stack widgets option in tab a7 light so if i just press and hold the home screen okay like that i will open the widgets option okay and then from here i can select any widget for example i select this widget i just press and hold it and i will bring it into uh, my tab a7 light home screen now if i want to add more widgets i can stack them here okay i just select it and then you see this option of create stack just select it okay and then you can add more widgets okay so for example i select the digital well-being so i just press press it like this and then I add it so now I have two widgets so you can see I can easily swipe between them so I can have multiple widgets over here but this option is not available in tab a7 you can only have one widget okay so for example I select this one so I just press it I just bring it over here like that and if I try to add more widgets there is no such option of create stack the next feature is about apps running in the background so in tab a7 light we have this option for example I select this recent button and here you see this option of two active in the backgrounds it means there are two apps that are actively running in the background so if I just select it so here it will show me the background activity if I want to extend uh, or save my battery life I can stop these apps okay so here is the stop option but in tab a7 there is no such option of any apps activity in the background the next feature in tab a7 light is about uh, multiple timers so i open the clock okay and here you see this timer option so i can select any timer i can just start it and then here is the plus sign i just select it i can have one more timer i can just start 
okay and then again i can have one more timer i can select any time from here and then i can start so you can see i have three different timers and these three timers are uh, running actively in 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 this tablet okay and now for example if i just go to home so there is a small uh, like a tab appear over here and i can also see from here my other timers okay so you can see i can easily scroll it for the other timers but on the other side in tab a7 uh, we don't have uh, this multiple timer option the next feature in tab a7 light is about watermark so if i open the camera okay and then if i go to the settings okay and then i go to the watermark option so here we have more option we have date and time option okay so you can add date and time okay you can change the font there are different fonts and then we have the alignment option as well okay but on the other side in tab a7 there is a watermark option available but it is very limited okay so if i just open this watermark you can see you can only put uh, your name or you can enter uh, your model name whatever you want you can do it but you don't have any date and time option you don't have any font option you don't have any alignment option the next feature is about color palette option so in tab a7 light if i just select um, the home screen like that i open wallpaper and style so in wallpaper and style i have color palettes option so i have this basic color option as well and then i also have this dual color options okay so we have these um, color palette options available but in tab a7 the color palette options are very limited okay so if i just select it so we only have these color palettes option we don't have basic color we don't have dual color the next feature is about a wallpaper so in tab a7 light we have more wallpaper option just select uh, the home screen select wallpaper and then here you select browse my wallpaper and the, there we have this graphical wallpapers okay like this one we also have this colors wallpaper okay so you can select any of these uh, but in tab a7 we only have limited wallpaper option so if i go to my wallpapers so we only have these wallpapers okay so you can see the next feature is about maintenance mode so in tab a7 light we have this maintenance mode option you go into the setting and then go into battery and device care okay and then you have this maintenance mode option so whenever you give your tablet for a maintenance for a repair you can turn it on so no one can access your personal data but this uh, feature is not available in samsung galaxy tab a7 now i will uh, move to the second part of the video where i will explain uh, some of the unique features uh, in tab a7 that tab a7 Lite don't have the first bigger difference is the screen size so tab a7 has 10.4 inch display okay with 224 pixel density and on the other side the tab a7 light is 8.7 inch display with 179 pixel density so because of this if you open two apps in tab a7 you have better experience okay so for example i open this app then i open uh, one more app okay so let's say i open this app i just drag it and then i drop it over here so you have better and bigger experience in tab a7 as compared to a7 Lite. the next unique feature in tab a7 is the screen recording option so you can just scroll down this quick setting menu and then here you see this screen recorder option you just select it and you can start a recording so this will helpful for you if you want to record any lecture if you have a, a zoom meeting you want to record it you can use this option okay it also has some tools for example this pen tool you can use okay there are different colors option so if you want to write something on your screen recording you can also do it for example if you are giving a lecture you want to mention something you can use this tool as well you can also pause it okay and then you can work on your tablet and then you can again resume it and once you stop it it will automatically save into your gallery you can see 
it says recording saved but on the other side tab a7 light uh, don't have this screen recorder option the next feature is focus mode option so if you want to uh, work or if you want to study if you want to use this tablet for a study you can use this focus mode option okay so here is the focus mode so what it will do is you can just start it and it will disable some of the apps that you don't want to use so for example you can see it disable these apps so you cannot use it okay and then if you want to see your progress you can also open the focus mode and it will show show you all your progress how much you focused for all the times what are the apps available and you can also customize it okay uh, but on the other side uh, we don't have uh, this uh, specific focus mode option instead we have the modes and routine option in tab a7 light that you can customize the next unique feature in tab a7 is the user experience so in tab a7 you have more smooth and lag free user experience as compared to tab a7 light and switching between different apps are also more smoother okay and more uh, lag free as compared to tab a7 light the next feature is about battery life so tab a7 battery capacity is 7040 milliampere and tab a7 light battery capacity is 5100 milliampere the other difference is about the front camera okay so on tab a7 the front camera is in the middle here okay in the longer edge and in tab a7 light the front camera is on the shorter edge on this side the front camera in tab a7 is 5 megapixel and the front camera in tab a7 light is only 2 megapixel okay uh, the next difference is about speakers so we have four speakers in tab a7 so you can see over here but on tab a7 light we only have two speakers so one speaker on this side and one speaker at the bottom okay uh, so guys this is for today's video so basically the main difference is about the software version and because tab a7 light has the more advanced software version it has more features as compared to tab a7 but tab a7 also has some unique features for example screen recording a better front camera the screen size so it's up to you what are your requirements so you can make your selection so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much